Today we're at a piece of property called the Pasture Reserve. It's owned by Lake County. Once a year, the three water management districts, wetland scientists and the soil scientists work together. This property is in the headwaters of the Green Swamp. It's a really important area for groundwater recharge in Central Florida. So this is a great site to be able to set up our wetland monitoring program. I'm Kim Raskolswart. I'm with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. We are establishing where the seasonal high water line is. That's the highest point that the wetland gets seasonally. My name is Lisa Prather. I'm with the South Florida Water Management District. Take it that's due north. My name is Lance Hart. I work with the St. Johns River Water Management District. We're setting up transects to implement the Data Management Investigations Team Wetland Monitoring Program. It's a long-term monitoring program to help determine sustainable amount of groundwater that can be withdrawn in the Central Florida Water Initiative area. Once a year, the three districts try to get together to ensure consistency with the application of the monitoring method that was approved by the CFWI Steering Committee. The CFWI, or the Central Florida Water Initiative, is a collaboration between the three water management districts, Southwest Florida, South Florida, and St. Johns River. Still keeps going further down. We are looking in the soil for a hydric soil. We have three data points. We, we set the wetland boundary. That's the landward limits of the wetlands. We're looking at hydrologic indicators in the soil. You can tell where the seasonal high water level is. And then the next boundary is muck at surface, so it's your wettest soil. It helps determine what the groundwater is doing in the soils, whether it's coming up to the surface, um, how long it's staying in the surface. The ultimate reason behind the monitoring program is to provide the, the many users that are looking at water use in Central Florida with good data. Really important to provide our modelers with accurate data that reflects what is actually going on as they develop the models that are used in determining the regional water supply plans. And your contours are fairly consistent around here? Yes, the water kind of sheet flows this way. It's very important that we're in the field together to ensure that we are looking at the soils consistently in terms of identifying hydric soil indicators and application of the delineation methodology. And then we'll be returning every five years to repeat the monitoring to see if anything's changed. It's important so that scientists in the future who are doing this, if we all agree now it's a very um, solid wetland boundary, distinct indicators, we can be sure that people in the future will be setting the boundaries the same way. The goal is to, to have a web link available to the public and we're working towards getting that established so that all of this data is then accessible to the public, whether it's lakes for recreation, rivers, streams, or just our ability to have potable water supplies. So we, we have to get this right because this is important.